Hey guys, how you doing? My name's Robin O'Neill. This is me reading stuff. My energy level today, way low. My passion, very high. My hunger, uh, I just took care of that. I had a breakfast sandwich and honestly it sucked. I wish I could go back in time. My stress, higher than it's been in years. My hope, H-O-P-E. I'd say, uh, I'm going to give it a 6.3 out of 10. Something I'd like to change about everything. About me, I guess. I'd like to change the feeling that I'm not doing enough. I do a lot every day. Really, every hour. I'm an active human being. But I never feel like it's enough, which is horrible. I need to get over that. My favorite thing right now, you. I love you guys. Thank you for listening. Hey, you know, it's also been a while since uh, I kicked out racists, bigots, and sexists. So, if that's you, get the fuck out of here. This is not your house. You're not welcome here. There's nothing for you here. I do not want anyone who's like that to be listening. This, th- th- this is where we ban people. Racist, bigot, sexist. Oh, did anyone see that horrible poem that I posted? Hold on, I'm going to hit pause. Oh, I'm really into these radio stings. Let me put a radio sting in here. God, I love that. All right, so you may have seen on Twitter I posted this bullshit. Um, There was, I, I was looking through that world poetry book that I've told you guys about so many times, and it really is an amazing Bible of poetry. I would recommend this to everyone. And I saw it's available online for as low as like $8. And again, I mean, I can't, can't even lift this book. There's 1,400 pages in here, I think. So I just opened up to this page, and it's a poem by, I'm going to call, I don't know how to pronounce it, Pallidas, P-A-L-L-A-D-A-S. This is, he, he lived from 360 to 430. So fourth century is probably when this was written. And it was all I could do to not throw this book. I, I, I don't even know where I was going to throw it. Where's a dramatic place to throw a book besides the wall? Um, all right. It's, let me just read it to you. This is called Women All Cause Rue. Women all cause rue, but can be nice on occasion. Moments, too to be precise, in bed and dead. Are you fucking kidding me? Get out of here, pulp pallidus. Get the fuck out of here. Sorry I'm cussing so much. God, I'm on a roll. I told you I'm stressed out. I'm stressed out and full of passion. (laughs) This is what happens. All right, listen to me slam this goddamn book. It's over. I'm done with it. All right. Uh, So for real, what I'm going to read is I have not read you Edna St. Vincent Millay, which seems a little sacrilegious or something. So I want to read you um, something of hers that I really love that I actually have in my copy of Good Poems, selected and introduced by Garrison Keillor. These are many poems from his show, The Writer's Almanac. This is a Penguin book. As always, I'll put the uh, information about this book in the description of the podcast so you can go check it out at the library or buy it. You know, I wonder how many... I have caused a lot of book purchases since doing the podcast, and I love that. I mean, I'm okay with you guys getting at the library too, but I, I really like it. I like when people buy books. I'm sorry, I just do. Okay, so the title of this is Dirge Without Music. I'd also like to say that um, a story from high school, I remember... You know, most of the music I like is really, just really somber. I like really slow music. And, I mean, besides my love of hip-hop, that's a whole other thing. But um, I think, anyway, I just know my parents were always like, yeah, where's Robbie? She's up in a room listening to those dirges again. (laughs) And it really is. It's my taste. I like a dirge. Okay, anyway, back to the beautiful Edna St. Vincent Millay. This is Dirge Without Music. I am not resigned to the shutting away of loving hearts in the hard ground. So it is, and so it will be, for so it has been, time out of mind. Into the darkness they go, the wise and the lovely, crowned with lilies and with laurel they go. But I am not resigned. 
lovers and thinkers into the earth with you. Be one with the dull, the indiscriminate dust, a fragment of what you felt, of what you knew, a formula, a phrase remains, but the best is lost. The answer is quick and keen. The honest look, the laughter, the love, they are gone. They are gone to feed the roses. Elegant and curled is the blossom. Fragrant is the blossom. I know, but I do not approve. More precious was the light in your eyes than all the roses in the world. Down, down, down into the darkness of the grave. Gently they go, the beautiful, the tender, the kind. Quietly they go, the intelligent, the witty, the brave. I know, but I do not approve, and I am not resigned. Wow. It's a little hard to recover after reading something that good. I hope you guys liked that. I hope you liked my After Dark episode last night with Yehuda Amahai. Uh, I could read every poem in that book. Um, I'm trying to ma- not make this one a full 10 minutes. Otherwise, I'd read you another one I found. Should I do it anyway? Yeah, you guys want it. Hold on. I'm about to kill you guys with this. This is Yehuda Amahai from the same book, um, The Selected Poetry. And uh, I already gave you a link yesterday, so we'll do that again. But this is called To Bake the Bread of Yearning. The last time I went to see my child, he was still eating pablum. Now, sadly, bread and meat with knife and fork, with manners that are already preparing him to die quietly, politely. He thinks I'm a sailor, knows I don't have a ship or a sea, only great distances and winds. The movements of my father's body in prayer and mine in lovemaking are already folded in his small body. To be an adult means to bake the bread of yearning all night long with reddened face in front of the fire. My child sees, and the powerful spell, see you soon, which he's learned to say works only among the dead. (sighs) I, I... Whoa, I just knocked my mic over. Wow. All right. I got to, I got to, I almost said flip gears. I got to switch gears just because otherwise I'll just be weeping. This this was a lot of nice death talk today. Uh, You guys, I was going to ask if you could join me in, uh, or my friends in writing. (laughs) What am I saying? I would love to ask if you guys could please write an iTunes review if you're enjoying the podcast or simply subscribe on iTunes or Podomatic. A most recent iTunes review said this, eh, this podcast is all right, but this girl who talks seems like a real whore to me. (laughs) I'm just kidding. That's not a real iTunes review. I had to write my own fake iTunes review just in order to tell you guys that no one's written me one for two months. And so I'm kind of like off the charts again, off the charts in a bad way. Like, in other words, I don't get any new listeners when I'm not doing well on iTunes. And that does kind of hurt the podcast because the more interaction I have with you guys, the better. But it's okay if you feel like it, if you listen regularly, even if you write a few words or if you scold me on there, do whatever you want to do or don't do it. I won't hold you accountable for anything you do or don't do. I feel like a jerk even asking for it. Um, You guys, I really, really, really love talking to you. Thank you so much for listening. I want you to have a wonderful Thursday evening, an even better Friday. Take good care of yourself over the weekend, whether you're working, sleeping, getting drunk, drinking coffee, driving a truck across country. Whatever it is you're doing, do it well, do it safe, do it proud. I love you guys. I'll talk to you again on Monday.